video so I was extremely lucky to be sent all the new bourgeois rouge velvet lipsticks by influencer who have done a campaign with bourgeois to send out all their new products so this is the cute little box that they came in so bourgeois with influencer and then inside I have all the lipsticks I'm gonna be doing a really fun swatch video I haven't done a swatch lipstick video before so I was quite nervous about doing this because I'm not very confident when it comes to my mouth. I don't like my teeth and I hate my lips. I want bigger lips. I just have this thing. It's just this thing that I really hate about my face. So this was really stepping out my comfort zone, but I think it turned out really awesome and I hope you enjoy seeing all the swatches. So when I had the email that Influencer was sending me all these lipsticks, I freaked out. I was so excited because funny enough, Bourjois is actually one of the first makeup products that I ever tried. My mum used to have one of their little pink shimmery eyeshadows in the round pot. And I used to like sneak into her bedroom in the mornings and like steal it out of her makeup bag to like put on my eyes <laughs> before I used to go to school to meet my friends in town when I was like 12. And then when I started actually being allowed to have my own makeup, that chocolate powder bronzer was one of the first makeup products I ever brought. A little 12 year old Kyra stealing a little pink eyeshadow to now being sent that product. I don't think you can get more full circle than that. The choice of shades is incredible. They go from nudes to hot pink to then burnt red. So there really is a lipstick for everyone depending on your style or your taste and your skin tone. It really is an amazing range. When I first got them, I was a bit worried when I swatched them because they are very, very soft and creamy. I was a bit worried that it might be a little bit tricky to apply because it is so creamy and it'll be a bit hard to get it really precise. But surprisingly, the lipsticks go on so beautiful. They are really bold and full coverage. So one swipe really covers that whole area. You don't necessarily have to do like a couple of layers, like with some MAC lipsticks that I use, I know I have to go over a few times, but these you really don't have to do that. They are incredible. You can see here as well, they have a high precision bullet, so you can really get the shape of your lip and really get up in close to the lip line. So when applying the precision bullet really does come in handy. It makes it go on so much easier. You can get really precise with where you're putting the lipstick and you don't have to then clean up after with concealer and things because you've done it all perfectly applying it. So just to show you, here's a three out of the range. As you can see, the packaging is so beautiful. It's one thing that Bourjois is well known for. Their packaging is really classy and classic. It's not over the top. There's not loads of pictures all over it. It's just really simple and chic. So it has on the front the collection name, Rouge Velvet, and it has the lipstick. One thing with these lipsticks though, they are quite tough to pull up. Like you do need a bit of strength. <laughs> but as you can see it's all black inside and then you just wind it up like a normal lipstick. One thing that I really do love about this collection is that the packaging is the same colour as the lipstick inside. This may seem like a really small thing to people to have the colour of the lipstick on the tube but if you're like me and you have tons and tons of lipsticks I have a whole drawer full of lipsticks. And when you're doing your makeup and you just want to find like a pink colour or a red colour or a nude, you have to open all the lipsticks up unless you know the exact lipstick you want. 
because like with MAC, the packaging is just plain black. And it just has the shade name at the bottom. There's no indication of the actual colour of the lipstick unless you open it up. And if you're in a rush or you've got tons of lipsticks like me, it's just a mission. So I have worn these out quite a lot since I got them. I did do swatches on my arm, which is on my Instagram. Them swatches stayed for two days. And I had like four showers in that time. They did not burn. <laughs> I wiped it away and like my arm was stained for two days. Then I've worn the nude lipstick quite a lot because I love wearing nudes in the day. So I've been wearing them in the day and they've been lasting so long without having to reapply throughout the day. I also wore the pink shade to a wedding reception. I was eating and drinking and it did not budge. I got home and my lipstick looked perfect. It honestly is such a good formula. It's so creamy, so pigmented. And once it goes on, it takes a few minutes to dry. But once it's dry, it goes really matte and then it will not burn. In the box, I was also sent Bourjois Universal Lip Liner and Primer. I have worn this a few times with the lipsticks when I've been wearing them. I do love this. It's so much better than the London Iconic one. I find that when I put the Iconic London Invisible Lip Liner on, it kind of like crumbles from the pencil. So as you're applying it, you get like clumps come off, which it doesn't give a very soothe application. Whereas this one is really pointed. As you can see, it's really small so you can get really precise. And you don't have to sharpen it, you just wind it up. I did find on the days that I did wear this, under all over the lip the lipstick did last a lot longer but i don't tend to use this to line my lips because i like to overline slightly so this really won't help with that but as a primer or if you want a liner that you can use with any lipstick and you don't tend to overline your lips this is perfect it really does hold your lipstick on for so much longer and it really is a little good pencil so now I've explained some bits about the lipsticks, I'm gonna go in and swatch them all for you. I'm gonna start from shade one, which is a really light nude, to shade 12, which is a dark red. So we're gonna go through the color spectrum together. Even if I did say sorry, would it really matter now? Driving in your new Ferrari, I guess it worked out. Knew that would end the story, cause I still want you now baby you should be my trophy yeah we could shine proud love to send into the collection would be more of a pink tone base nude I just find it's really really peachy and brown for me uh, I like I tend to like to wear pink nudes 
but that is the only flaw in this whole collection. The formula is amazing, the shades are amazing, the stain proof is amazing, I just love them. I hope you enjoyed this video, it was completely different for me, I've never done this type of video, doing a lip swatch, but I really enjoyed it and I hope that I have lots more to come in the future. Again, thank you so much to Influencer and Bourgeois for sending me all these lipsticks for free to review and test out. So remember to click a like and click down below to subscribe to see more videos from me in the future. And I will see you next time.